everybody, this is Mrs. Hamilton. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw DNA and RNA uh, IB style. Um, here's a few notes from the examiners. First of all, they want strong, clear lines, so be defined. They want the shapes to be accurate, so make sure that if you are drawing a pentagon, that it has the shape of a pentagon. They want all your labels to be neat and clear, so make sure that your writing is legible. Finally, they do not want any shading. You can't use color either. For this video, I am going to use color just so that you can see the differences between the different parts of the drawing. But when you do this on the exam, no shading, no drawing. Right then, so let's get on with our drawing the DNA. Um, I'm going to take my pen and I'm first of all going to draw the, um, the backbone of our first spiral. And I'm going to start off with the sugar, so the oxygen with the carbon. And then remember, this is a pento, so it's a pentagon shape. So be, try and be as accurate as you can with your pentagon shape. Okay, it's not perfect, but it will do. One, two, three, four. Fifth carbon goes up. And then on the fifth carbon, we have the phosphate group. I think of it as somebody like holding a balloon. Okay, so there's our phosphate group. We also have on the first carbon, so let's label them. One, two, three, four, five. On the first carbon, carbon number one, we have our base. And I'm not just gonna write base, I'm actually gonna write A for adenine. And I'm gonna make sure that the line actually touches it to show that yes, it is bonded. So then I'm gonna do the second part of our nucleotide, and I'm gonna try and draw exactly the same size and shape pento sugar underneath. So uh, this is DNA, so it's deoxyribo. So here we go, so oxygen, carbon, come down for the second, cross for the third, fourth. Back to the oxygen, up for the fifth carbon, and then across for our phosphate. Okay, um, I'm gonna label them. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna add my base onto the first carbon. This time I'm gonna use a different base. I am gonna use guanine. Okay. Now we have to show where this phosphate joins our backbone here. So the phosphate group actually bonds to carbon three. So I'm gonna draw my line between carbon three. And then finally, I'm gonna draw a third um, sugar just to show that I know how it goes. Now it's not perfect by any means, okay, but it will be per it will be fine for IB because you're showing where the bonds are. This is going in the five prime because the five is at the top, three prime because the third is at the bottom, direction, five prime, three prime. This is a parallel strand. Now we don't want to draw the anti-parallel strand next to it which is completely the same, but on the opposite. Now, I am not good at spatial awareness, so I cannot, my mind won't do it that way. So what I do is I turn the paper around. So just give me a moment, I'm gonna turn it upside down. Okay, so as you can see, I have turned my paper upside down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the anti-parallel strand. By turning it upside down, it just makes it easier for me to draw it the right way. So here, is going to be our first nucleotide. So I'm going to show the bonds, three little dots to represent our um, hydrogen bond, and I'm going to put in my base, okay, and the base for this one would be A, because A goes with T. Now that gives me some sort of reference as to where I should start building my sugar. So my sugar should be just a little bit above it, so oxygen, carbon, carbon, carbon. I'm trying to keep it the same size as before. It might not be exact, okay, because I'm not exact. Up to the fifth, okay, and I'd label them one, two, three, four, five. Off the fifth, remember, we have our phosphate, so here's a P, okay, and then I would have my bond to the carbon. Okay, let's do the next one. I would show the little bond coming down here, waiting for the phosphate. A 
think that is everything. And then I'm okay, so I've turned it back round, round the right way. And now I'm going to label this um, strand, the anti-parallel. The three is at the top, so this strand is going from three prime, five is at the bottom, five prime. And then I'll just add a couple of labels. I've shown that I know that A goes with T and that G goes with C. I've shown the parallel and the anti-parallel strand, and I've also shown the hydrogen bond between them. I've shown that I know that the bond on the backbone is between the carbon five and the carbon three, okay, via the phosphate. So I've shown all of that. And that basically is how to show a really good double-stranded DNA drawing. So now let's move on to RNA. Okay, well drawing RNA is really simple. If you know how to do DNA, this is a cinch. Show that I know that the base here is going to be uracil. And there you have it, how to draw DNA and how to draw RNA. Okay, I thought that helped. It's not